everyone and welcome back to Natural Beauty by Anna. I'm Anna and today I'm going to talk about one of the natural skincare holy grails that the internet swears by, tamano oil. It's just me but every time I hear miracle ingredient miracle solution to all of your skin problems or to all of your problems in general I kind of raise an eyebrow and I ask myself really like you're telling me that this one oil just one ingredient can help protect from bacteria and microbes help with wound healing keep my skin moisturized protect from UV rays and heal my acne seriously is that what you're saying internet okay well let's let's look into it a little bit so all in all there are four main claims regarding tamanu oil and its skincare properties so what i thought i would do is go through each one of them talk a little bit about what exactly is the claim what kind of research is there if any uh, to back up this claim and what have i observed in my own experience after having used tamanu oil in my skincare routine for more than two years now and first i guess i should mention that the oil that i am using is unrefined cold pressed tamanu oil so that's the one that i'm gonna be talking about when i speak of my own experience and before we get started a small disclaimer here i have no background in sciences medicine or pharmacy i do have the capacity to read and understand some medical research some scientific articles to a certain extent uh, but definitely not enough to reproduce it here in technical terms so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna talk a little bit about what kind of research i found what are their main claims but i will focus mostly on my experience and my observations from the use of tamanu oil on my own skin and to give you a little bit of context my skin type is normal leaning dry and acne prone so yeah that's what i'm dealing with on a daily basis now let's go take a look at those claims and the first property that we're going to be talking about is uv protection there are claims on the internet that tamanu oil can protect your skin from ultraviolet, aka the sun, effectively acting as a sunscreen. This is the one property that before doing any research I was the most skeptical about, just because I would never use an oil by itself as a sunscreen or a sunblock. It just kind of seems counterintuitive, if you will. So I dug into some research, some scientific articles that I found on the internet, and by the way i will link some of those articles in the description box below so you can go check it out if you're curious now counter to what i believed i did find some research that backed up this claim to a certain extent now of course all of these research speak in terms of maize and mites because the research is based on clinical observation of how the tamanu oil behaves and what properties does it have but these clinical observations are done in a controlled environment whether observed directly on people or on cells under a microscope they can't really 100 percent guarantee how a substance any substance would behave outside in the uncontrolled real world environment that being said yes there are studies that back up the tamanu oils uv absorption and antioxidant properties which would give it its sun protection factor but my understanding of it is that tamanu oil has the potential of being used in formulas so in pharmaceutical products that would be used as sunscreens or sunblocks rather than be applied on the skin by itself and act as a sunblock and also with it being an oil that would either get absorbed into your skin or just be wiped off on your clothes it doesn't seem like it has the potential of just staying on your skin and protecting it from the uv rays for a long period of time as for my experience with it and my impression of its uv protection properties as someone who's used tamanu oil on my face um, as i have already mentioned constantly over the past two years 
I have not noticed that it helped me in any way. I do have to admit that I sometimes go outside without using a sunscreen or a sunblock, um, especially on winter days or when I go out for very short periods of time. I do, however, always have tamanu oil on my face. It is part of my morning and evening routine. And if you're curious to see how I'm using tamanu oil in my daily skincare routine, there are already videos on this channel with products that I am mixing myself using tamanu oil, so I invite you to go check those out. And I have noticed that, for example, if I take a walk on a sunny winter day, I still notice the effects of sun exposure on the high points of my face, like the bridge of the nose, the cheekbones, and the forehead area. So yeah, I can't say that I have noticed any UV protection properties from the use of tamanu oil. The second claim that the internet has regarding tamanu oil is that it has antimicrobial and antibacterial bacterial properties. And this is the one that I was most interested in because having antimicrobial and antibacterial properties means that it could potentially help reduce and heal acne, which is what I'm looking for. And yes, there is also study that backs up the claim that tamanu oil has antimicrobial, antibacterial property. I'm gonna say this so many times. <laughs> uh, antimicrobial, antibacterial properties, okay. And that these properties found in tamanu oil are actually stronger than that of the antibiotic standard oxacillin, which makes it very potent and means that it can potentially be used to treat acne. Now, what does potentially be used to treat acne? To me, that also seems like it more so has the potential to be used in pharmaceutical products. But in my experience, I have used tamanu oil. Actually, the main reason why I'm using tamanu oil is to help reduce and heal my acne. I mean, I get acne, my acne is hormonal, so nothing short of a hormonal treatment will fix it permanently. But when I do get a breakout, I notice that the use of tamanu oil helps first off keep the breakout more localized so it keeps it from spreading and either when a pimple dries or when I pick on it. I know I shouldn't, I know it's bad, it's terrible, but it happens sometimes. And I am left with an after acne scar. The use of tamanu oil helps first off reduce the appearance of the scar within a few hours and it helps heal it almost overnight or over a two days period depending on the size of it. So yes, in my experience, my acne fighting routine has changed completely after I started using tamanu oil. The next property that we're gonna be talking about is the anti-inflammatory property of tamanu oil. And it is my understanding that antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory properties kind of go hand in hand when we're talking about fighting acne because acne is an inflammation of the skin. And the most relevant research that I found with regards to this uh, property is about calophyllolid. I hope I'm not messing up this name. It is a compound of the tamanu plant which has been isolated and which on its own shows anti-inflammatory activity by regulating the pro-inflammatory cytokines and the anti-inflammatory cytokines. Cytokines are some proteins, there are, there's a variety of them, which either promote or reduce inflammation. So basically what this research tells us is that this tamanu compound um, has anti-inflammatory properties or activity by backing up your skin's natural anti-inflammatory agents. But it is not clear to me if the oil itself has this property or does it only work if you isolate this one compound. As for my own experience with it, I think that what I have mentioned earlier, that after I started using tamanu oil, I noticed that my breakouts started being more localized instead of spreading all over my skin, my face, um, as they used to before, might be a result of this anti-inflammatory property of the tamanu oil. And finally, the last property that we're gonna be talking about is tamanu oil's wound healing properties. And once again, research does back up this claim as well. A 2017 study does show the role of the same tamanu uh, compound that we talked about earlier, calophyllolid, in accelerating the process of wound healing through anti-inflammatory activity. So again, we're actually going back to the same 
claim, the same property that we talked about earlier. It's about fighting inflammation. And as I said, Tamano oil has helped tremendously in healing my after acne scars. So I can also confirm that I have noticed the wound healing properties of Tamano oil on my own skin. So to sum it up a little bit, while there is considerable amount of research um, to back up different properties of the Tamano oil when it comes to UV protection, antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties as well as wound healing properties. The research is done in a controlled environment under specific conditions and not all of them are actually clinical trials which means that not all of them are done on human test subjects but rather just by observing isolated cells activity under a microscope. So of course a lot of steps still need to be taken in order to more strongly support all of these claims. As for my own experience, I have started using Tamanu oil, as I have said, about two years ago, uh, with the purpose of healing, reducing, um, improving, doing something with my acne situation. And I have noticed those improvements over time. As I have said, I have noticed that my acne is more localized. My breakouts also don't last as long as they used to. Also, the after acne wounds heal much faster and don't leave such visible spots on the skin. I have mentioned in the beginning that the Tamano oil that I'm using is cold pressed and refined. Um, I have used refined Tamano oil before and really all I can say about it is that the unrefined version seems to be more efficient. And if you're curious to see how exactly I'm using Tamano oil in my skincare routine, my next video will be featuring several different recipes that I am making on a regular basis using Tamano oil. So if you don't want to miss that video, I invite you to go subscribe to my channel. That helps me a lot. Also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye!